You know, I, I learned something about myself. Um, I, I've noticed a lot of people, right? They can smoke weed and they could be at work and you can't even tell that they're high. But me, I just take a tiny little drag off a little vape shit. And dude, for some reason, everybody will just fucking be like, what the fuck's wrong with that guy? Is he okay? Look. Look at him. Look. Yo, look at this guy. Look. Look at him. Look. He's acting all funny. What the fuck is wrong with him? And, and, and I'm just trying to exist, dude. What the fuck, bro? I hate that shit, man. Um, and then when I was doing mushrooms, right? Um, one time I took 10 grams of mushrooms. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a heroic dose. Ten grams of mushrooms. That was before my seizure. Um, I, I I had a conversation with God, and God told me that my body is super connected to my spirit. My body and my soul are pretty much on the same frequency. So I'm very sensitive, especially to these types of substances, like cannabis, and pretty much anything that's like a psychoactive or anything that's a mild form of acid, a hallucinogen. THC is a mild form of acid, right? But it's good for you, though. Um, it's just, you know... Some people don't really need it, and I'm starting to think that I don't really need it either. I mean, I kind of do for now because of this shit. This shit hurts like a motherfucker. You see this right here? That that was way worse before, dude. This right here. That, oh man, that, that shit was painful, dude. Yeah. Um, cannabis helps with pain. Um... And also, since I'm, I'm clean from heroin, right, it helps with anxious, with the anxiety and shit. Dude, I've been taking high-strength opiates for a long time, way before I started fighting. When I started fighting, actually, I stopped opiates for a little bit. Yeah, yeah that, that's how good fighting is for you, dude. When I learned how to fight, that shit supercharged my spirit, dude. Not only that, I got in fucking good ass shape. I got in good ass fucking shape, dude. Look at these fucking gains, man. Look, look at that shit, dude. I'm. I could, I got fucking knocks. I could crack somebody's neck with my bicep, dude. Shit. I could. You 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 know those fucking challenges where you hang on a pole. And it's like you stay there for like a minute or something. You win like a hundred bucks. I could stay hanging for like ten minutes, dude. <laughs> shit. On some fucking Special Forces Metal Gear Solid type shit. On some James Bond shit, bro. Uh, where, where was I going with this? Um, where was I going with this, dude? Right, what the fuck is that? Whoa. Whoa, what the fuck is that? Yo, what the hell is that, dude? What the fuck is happening over there? Oh, it's a it's a garbage truck. Oh my god, I had no clue what I was looking at, dude. It was a garbage truck. You see what I mean, dude? <laughs> this is why I can't smoke weed. <laughs> this is why I can't smoke. Did you see that shit? I was freaking out. What the fuck is doing it again? What the fuck, dude? That shit looks weird. That That's freaky, man. That is freaky. Oh, oh, I can't look at that. What? That's... What the fuck? I mean, I'm not gonna bother tilting the camera because, I mean, you're not gonna be able to see it from here. See, see, you, you, you can't see shit. Even if I pointed it out, you'd be like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Trust me, you don't want to see it neither. It looks like a fucking... It looks like two robots banging, dude. I literally thought that's what I was looking at. It looks like two Transformers banging in the middle of the parking lot. Yeah, that's that's funny, dude. Um, well, it's another overcast day here in Hollandale Beach. Um, getting closer to World War III. Uh, Joe Biden hates America. 
He's letting in illegal immigrants and shit. Handguns are illegal in Chicago. Gun violence is through the roof. People are getting killed every day. Fucking fentanyl is flooding America. They're flooding our schools, dude. Bro, this shit is hitting the fan, man. God needs to hurry up with Jesus already, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we should have never given this fucking bastard the job of being president, dude. You know, Joe Biden, pretty much, he, I'm, I'm, I'm convinced that he's destroying America. And he's doing it on purpose. Because he's like, oh, these motherfuckers wouldn't elect me when I was young and shit. And pretty much, he's destroying America because he never got a chance to be president. And now that he's an old fart and he can barely get it up without taking half a bottle of Viagra and being resuscitated like seven, eight, nine times. So he's destroying the country. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's tried everything. I'm pretty sure he's tried putting in a, in a freezer, injecting cocaine directly into his cock vein. I'm pretty sure he's tried all that shit. And it wouldn't go up, dude. So he's just going to destroy America. Systematically. By proxy. Starting the Fourth Reich. With the Nazis in Ukraine. Yeah. Even though... Well, that, that, that's another conspiracy. Um, I probably shouldn't talk much about that. You motherfuckers are going to think I'm crazy. You probably already think I'm crazy. But I'll go on the record. I'm fucking crazy. Alright? I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to do that thing from Chappelle's show. Fuck, remember that skit? Or he's 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 in fucking he's in therapy and he's like look like like the therapist is like okay this is a safe space you can tell me whatever you want to tell me okay I ain't gonna tell anybody and he's like okay then for the record I'm fucking crazy and I'll fucking kill you <laughs> and I think he said and I'll eat you nigga <laughs> I think he said something like that. Says something like, like, I'll fucking kill you and chop you up to pieces and eat you, nigga. <laughs> Shit, bro. Chappelle show's funny, man. I'm pretty sure the world's gonna end, dude. So, whatever, man. And, and if the world doesn't end, I've, I've already said it before. Oh, yeah, that's what I was gonna say, man. Once I'm old enough, I'm gonna run for president. Yeah, I'm gonna run for president once I'm old enough. I'm 30 years old, so in five years I could run for president. Can you imagine, dude? Bro, I don't look like I'm 30. I really don't. Like, dude, the other day, I went to go buy some booze. And um, not, not for me, for this girl, right? I don't drink. Um, and this fucking lady at Walmart was going to call the cops because she thought that I stole a passport. She thought that I stole my own passport, dude. I had to fucking snatch that shit out of her hand. And then she was like, Hey, call the police, call the police. And I'm like, Hey, call the police, fuck you, bitch. And I go like, Dan, and I just fucking walk out the door. <laughs> oh, man. I'm a fucking menace to society, man. But I'm a good menace. I'm a good menace, dude. I, I give society what they deserve, right? And that's it. You know, um, I basically... Treat others the way they treat me, man. Whatever energy that you give up, I'm giving right back at you, dude. That, that's how I am. Yeah, and, and, and that's how I think we all should be. Yeah, that's why I'm running for president, dude. Yeah, yeah, I, I would do a lot, of, a lot of good shit if I were president, man. One thing, I would get rid of all the gangs. In the United States, that's the first thing that I would do. I would get rid of all the gangs. I would get rid of all the fentanyl. I would get rid of all all of that shit, dude. All the gangs, all the gang violence, that will be my first priority. All that shit has to go. I would clean up our fucking streets. I would clean up the schools, get rid of all the faggotry. Bring back conservative values back to America, man. I would put hair on men's balls again, dude. Yeah. That's what I would do. Shit.
Alright, you gotta get ready for work. I am Andrew Chavarri and I approve this message.